Please share the details of your upcoming expansion plan. Uh, we were a newsprint mill uh, till today. We were one of the largest newsprint mill of India and we have decided to shift from newsprint to writing and printing paper and it has been one month that we have shifted already one machine and the second machine we are going to shift uh, after the shutdown on January, February. So our target is to become one of the prominent players in writing and printing uh, paper in the western part of India and we will like to cater to the exports market as well because Rama News Print is only 20 kilometers far from the port and uh, post the expansion our capacity would be 600 tons approximately per day of writing and printing paper and I think this will be one of the on recycle base one of the few large players in India. You have converted your whole production capacity from newsprint to writing printing paper. What difficulty did you see in the market which compel you to shift from newsprint to writing printing paper? Uh, the compulsion is that uh, the newsprint industry is a dying industry. The price fluctuation in the industry has uh, uh, has you know been so much that the Rama newsprint or other newsprint players in India also have suffered huge losses in past. Even after the 10% import duty by the government, the prices are not viable. So we have decided to shift to writing and printing and this is our compulsion. But we are more than the compulsion, we are very happy to be a uh, recognized player in the writing and printing market, which is a fairly larger market and variety of customers for exports also. So we want to really export uh, Rama's paper today to various countries in Africa and also Middle East. So we are not restricting ourselves to any GSM range so we want to be uh, a customized player for our customers so we will be doing right from 48 GSM till 90 GSM brightness from 75 brightness up till 90 brightness and in future also we'll be coming up with our own A4 size paper uh, for copier and uh, our target is to build uh, a good brand image also in the copier market in coming times so we want to be a prominent player in the paper industry in the recent cycle segment what target you have set up for the export market uh, we will be exporting approximately 50 percent of our uh, production in exports because we have seen great demand in exports uh, and people have liked our quality of lower gsm also so we will be targeting uh, the textbook markets also abroad and being a recycle based mill i think we are also promoting uh, uh, the recycle culture which is being uh, asked by a few customers from europe and america that they really want a recycled paper uh, for their uh, uh, for their market and they are ready to pay premium for recycled paper so this is a motivation for us to be green and this is why our logo is uh, a new logo now and we believe in living green are you planning to set up any new plant anywhere in india I think this is fairly a large project and we are basically situated at the best location possible in India which is 20 kilometers from the port, 15 kilometers from an international airport. Uh, Gujarat being uh, the hub for exports from India also. I think we will in future also expand in Rama because we have 230 acres of land and we have same premises and we have just utilized 30% of our land. So this has enough capacity to become one of the largest uh, mill in the western part of India. So we'll be expanding here only. Packaging segment is growing very well, so tissue is growing very well. So are you planning to come into the, this packaging segment and tissue segment in coming time? Uh, we as a group are very keen to invest in manufacturing facilities uh, uh, and uh, we as a group are a fairly large player in starch also. So we will be keen to invest again into Sri Rama and bring up new product lines in future. But our primary for next six months it is that we want to stabilize and focus on writing and printing and once this stabilizes we will look at different grades of paper like packaging and also maybe tissue or something else. 
there has been an anti dumping duty levied on the copier paper if anybody imports a paper in a4 sheet form below the benchmark price that is 855 us dollar per metric ton of paper and he will have to pay the difference amount as an anti dumping duty is this duty beneficial for the paper industry i think it is beneficial because after uh, maybe 70 years of independence also if we are not able to produce uh, enough commodity like product like paper i think uh, government is into the right steps uh, forcing uh, the indian papers also to co- grow up with their quality and i think government is also uh, pushing us to make in india initiative and which is very good for the paper industry in india and overall economy of india there has been also a problem with the writing printing paper when the cheap paper import has been hampering the paper industry paper industry is requesting to the government to levy an anti dumping duty just to curb the import of the paper now you are expanding don't you think in future you may also face the same problem from the international paper supplier Uh, I do not think so because uh, if the international paper prices uh, are falling, so are the pulp prices falling down. So we are becoming a, a global uh, uh, part of a global economy. Uh, but yes, we will ask the government to protect the interest of uh, Indian players because we are giving uh, jobs to thousands of people in India, and uh, we want to support the initiative of Make in India, Recycle India, and uh, so many other. initiatives when the economy is so down so we feel that uh, government should protect and we will do our best for our own protection for the industry and for the manpower we have employed what product you have showcased in this expo so in this particular expo we have uh, different grades of writing and printing paper grades of writing and printing paper which is been accepted by all this is our lowest quality of paper rama pearl yes, and this is 52 gsm paper and uh, 52 gsm paper yes this is 52 gsm paper and Uh, the formation and the bulk and the quality is so good that is appreciated by all our customers who have used our paper till today and we are happy to say that uh, uh, rama has been successfully uh, you know uh, implemented this change of r- news print to writing printing paper in a span of 30 days which is a record history in the indian paper industry you are going for the rebuild what amount you have fixed up to complete the rebuild and what new thing you are going to implement so i think uh, we are close to an investment value of 150 crores and plus for the entire rebuild uh, which we have already undergoing now and in this rebuild we will ensure that we have a good quality writing printing paper which is speckless from lowest gsm to highest gsm and uh, we have supply uh, suppliers uh, like foit we have suppliers like globe uh, we have suppliers uh, of all international make uh, of different components uh, and i think uh, we have chosen the best of the suppliers for their particular product line which they are good at uh, this will enhance rama's image and also efficiency in coming time this is 100% recycled paper and that is why we want to live with our uh, tag line of living green and we want to educate people that uh, uh, a recycled paper is as good a paper also which can suffice your requirement uh, today so why should we cut trees and use pulp paper based paper rather than we should use recycle based paper uh, for our day to day needs